All right, guys, just a quick video showcasing uh, how Dragon Ball Sparking Zero runs in ultra wide. And now the game doesn't support ultra wide at all. Uh, everything is pillar box. Uh, not surprising, as though the previous game didn't support ultra wide at all. So, uh, just a quick look at what it looks like. Now, I am using Unreal Unlocker uh, 5 to achieve the ultra wide. As of right now, this is the only way. I'm sure there will be some other way. Uh, once the game's been out for a little bit longer, but as of right now, Unreal Unlocker does work. Now, if you're curious, these are the graphical settings that are in the game. Uh, it, the game does have HDR, but it is a very basic, uh, it's either on or off. You, there's a toggle button that's on or off for HDR. Uh, HDR is not that great. It is uh, either too dark or too bright. Um, there's only a scale between 0 to 100. Uh, it's not very uh, well implemented, but uh, I found right now somewhere in the mid 60s to be uh, looks the best, so it's not overly too bright. So again, just depends on on your monitor. But H dart is not that great. Now I've been reading that a lot of people are having a stutter issue with the game due to not it not having any uh, shader comp uh, when you first boot it up or at all. Uh, but personally, I have not ran into any issue, major issue in terms of just stuttering. Uh, there were some some very very minor in the very beginning when I first booted up the game, but uh, it has been running pretty solid for me. Now the game uh, is locked at 60 FPS. Um, there is a command that you can put in the INI, the game INI, that will unlock it. But personally, I capped it at 120, and I have not had any issue. I think as long as you have a system that can maintain a good frame rate, uh, you shouldn't have any problem at all. There have been um, people, a lot of people on the Steam forum that saying that it runs in slow motion uh, when they try to uncap the frame. And I think that just has to do with your uh, PC not being able to uh, keep up to the desired uh, FPS that you uh, um, that you chose. So make sure uh, to choose a, a low one and then make your way up. Now currently I don't know if using this uh, Unreal Unlocker will have any ramification uh, when playing online but uh, personally I don't intend to play it online. Um, I just, I'm more of a single player type of uh, player so uh, I don't really enjoy playing online that much anymore. Um, so if you use this and you play online if everything is okay please let me know. I would do appreciate it so I can pass it on if I ever uh, get asked. So. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just use this at your own risk if you decide to uh, to use ultra wide um, Unreal Unlocker 5. Also, it goes without saying that uh, a controller is a must uh, for this type of game. I mean, I guess you could play it on a PC, but uh, it would be very, very extremely awkward and uh, would definitely take a lot of mastery and wizardry to be able to uh, perfect it. So anyway, uh, recommend highly recommended controller. Um, play this game. Alright guys, if I left out anything, uh, just leave it in the comments section and I'll get back to you. And like always, appreciate you guys watching and uh, see you on the next video. Take care for now.